Hey there, day 21. It's hard to lose track after a while. Um, so today's kind of a, a slow day. There's not going to be a really large honker update today, mainly because there's not a lot happening. We're, we're sitting in uh, Balsam Woods Campground here in Maine, and we're not leaving today. I've actually been taking care of some uh, work. You can see my laptop here. Uh, the kids have been doing some playing. They're now over at the pool with Malika. Malika was watching some TV earlier. She was taking care of some business because we have to uh, start getting our ducks in a row for the kids to go back to school shortly after we get back to Florida. So that's kind of a day. It's been a day of getting some stuff done. Um, so really beautiful weather here. Um, nothing to fix on the RV. I did replace some temporary duct tape right about, well, if I can get it right about there on the slide out, whatever, I'll deal with that later. Uh, but uh, it's just basically, if in case it rains, it's not gonna leak or anything. Uh, and that's pretty much the update, not much to say. It's interesting, I'm finding that it's hot as hell back home in Florida right now. I had one lady, a uh, friend of mine say that it was about 110 degrees. Now it's probably not actually 110. It's probably more like the feels like temperature, but still hotter than hell. So it's I almost feel a little wee bit guilty being up here in Maine right now, where the weather's. They probably think it's hot here, but for us, it, it, we're thinking it's this is really really nice weather. And judging from my electric bill, which I've been catching up on some finances here, our AC is working its butt off at home. So I bet you it is quite hot. So, anyway, here's my office. Uh, family left a bit of a mess. It doesn't suck, I'll tell you that. Oh, I had the camera out because I was taking a new picture for RVFamilyTravel.com. Go to the homepage, there's a new picture there. Going camping doesn't mean you have to eat in funny ways. I'm about to make myself some sushi right here in the motorhome. Let's get started. First thing, putting a little bit of rice vinegar in here. Stir it up. Okay, kitchen's a little bit of a mess because the leak had made some soup. So let me get some of this stuff out of the way so I have a place to work. Let's see here. One good thing about RV kitchens, they're, they're smaller, so therefore you're forced to keep it cleaner. <laughs> All right, a tuna filet, sushi grade. I uh, bought this back in Florida and I just had it in the freezer. Uh, I actually bought a few of them. This is my last one, but we're here in Maine, so I'm kind of thinking maybe I could easily get some um, fish to keep making sushi if I want to. So let's start slicing this up. All right, sliced and diced, at least this got started, and brought an avocado into the mix here. So now we're about to actually do some rolling. Now it's a little hard to do this while I'm holding a phone camera, so uh, I want to do some of it off cam. Only way to get this done. Okay, rice is spread around. You basically just take the rice here and mash it around there. You can wash your fingers off in there and allow you to spread it around. Now we'll take a piece of just a strip of fish, cut a little bit more off. I'm trying to do that with one hand, being that I'm holding this camera. Good enough. Kind of fill in the end there a little bit. Then we'll take a little avocado. A little bit more. Oh, come on. Okay. Definitely interesting doing this while holding a camera. And now I'm going to roll it up. So here we go. All right, done. So basically all you do is just kind of roll, use this thing and you kind of roll it up like this. And then I actually usually will take a second sheet and kind of wrap it on there. Then in order to make the uh, seaweed a little softer, just do some water and whatever, roll it up. And then it looks like that. And then we'll cut it later. So now I'm just going to go ahead and roll the rest of them here. Done and done. I rolled some sushi. Got a little tiny bit left. Always happens. Whatever. So now we're just going to um, move the stuff over here and cut them up into little pieces. Boom. Sushi done. 
Oh, my foot hurts a little bit today. All right, now we'll throw it in the fridge and it'll be ready for dinner. And now out to hang out by the campfire. We will be having dinner soon. And you can see that we eat well while we're camping. There's no reason why you have to cook much different in the RV. It's pretty much uh, do what you want. Uh, so sushi happens to be one of my favorite foods, so that's what I am doing. And being that my wife likes Russian stuff and they're big on soups, she makes soup a lot. So we can make that here as well. Goodbye, day 21. See you tomorrow. Heading to Bar Harbor, Maine tomorrow, which I think it's going to probably be louder and a little bit more crowded over there.